Welcome to a meditation on I am, what am I? This recording is part of the Contemplative Builder audio series, and I am Chuck Dunning, an author, advocate, facilitator, trainer, and consultant in contemplative practice, mentoring, and leadership. This series and much of my other work is focused on the development of contemplative practice within the context of speculative masonry. Persons who are not speculative masons are welcome to make use of this series, but may find it referencing Masonic ritual experiences, symbols, and concepts without explanation. These recordings are provided to help listeners experience various contemplative methods and states of consciousness. It is hoped listeners eventually learn to practice those methods and enter those states without the assistance of recordings. Because this recording is designed to facilitate changes in consciousness, you should not listen to it while operating a motor vehicle or other machinery or performing any other task that requires your attention to maintain safety for yourself or others. This particular recording is based on a meditation from my book, Contemplative Masonry. Speculative Masonry stands in the tradition of those great mystery schools in which the first and greatest task of the initiate is expressed in the admonition to know thyself. Anyone who sincerely penetrates into the mystery of the self will discover that there seem to be many layers to who and what we are, and with many things interwoven throughout the layers. What might happen if we were to peel away the layers and unravel the threads of our identities. For human beings bound to this mortal existence, the realization of I am is immediately apparent, yet accompanied by a strange uncertainty. The very fact of our being begs the question, what am I? Given the limitations of our awareness and understanding, this question may seem no less profound than inquiring about the nature of God. Many of us respond to this question with words like spirit or soul. Yet when we are pressed to explain these terms, most of us have nothing but statements of faith and quotations from Scripture to support our claim. Despite the elusive nature of our spiritual essence, the great traditions of spiritual enlightenment consistently assert that it is a real dimension of being. In fact, spirit is often considered more real than any other level of being. Furthermore, it is held that it can be experienced directly and does not have to remain a vague abstraction or a mere belief. In this activity, you will open yourself to a more direct experience of the essence of your being. Now, if you have not already done so, take a moment to turn off any phones or other things that might disturb your meditation. While you do so, consider that the possibility for external distractions almost always remains a part of meditative experience. Try to cultivate an attitude that distractions are simply opportunities to gently and calmly refocus on the meditation, which is good meditative practice in itself. Now settle into a comfortable position that you can maintain without moving until the contemplative activity has finished. Your spine should be relatively straight, with no twist or strain in your neck or back. Closing your eyes is recommended, however, if you prefer not to close them, then allow your eyes to relax and steadily gaze upon some point directly in front of you. If you wish, this would be a fitting moment to invoke spiritual assistance in whatever way is meaningful to you. Now slowly take in a deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, 
exhaling all the air you can without straining and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a second deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a third deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Now inhale and let your body breathe in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Attend to the sensation of the Earth's gravity pulling down on your body. Feel it pulling your feet against the floor. Feel the gravity pulling down in your calves and shins. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your thighs and buttocks, pulling you into your seat. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your hips, belly, and lower back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your rib cage, chest, and upper back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your shoulders and neck. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your jaw, your tongue, and around your mouth, and in your cheeks. Feel the gravity pulling down around your eyes and in your brow. Feel the gravity pulling down in your scalp on the top of your head, around the sides and down the back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go 
leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Now feel the gravity pulling down from the top of your head all the way through every part of your body down to the soles of your feet. If you notice any unnecessary tension anywhere, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful, relaxation. Turn your attention back to your breath, flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. You simply observe it flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. You can go into an even deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation by silently marking the breath with the word in as you inhale and out as you exhale. In, out. Just continue observing the breath flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm as you continue silently repeating in, out. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Let go of marking the breath with the words in and out, and just sit in awareness of your physical being. Say to yourself, I am. What am I? Am I my body? In your imagination, examine the physical dimension of your being in detail. Note its complexity and the intricacy of its design. Note its extensive powers of sensation and movement. Note the significance of the statement, I have a body, that while the body is part of your being, it is not the I that knows I am.
say to yourself, I am not my senses, my movements, my bodily processes. Now just sit in awareness of your emotional being. Once again, say to yourself, I am, what am I? Am I my emotions? Examine the emotional dimension of your being in detail. Note its richness an infinite variety. Note its powers of desire, attraction, and repulsion. Note the significance of the statement, I have emotions, that while the emotions are a part of your being, they are not the I that knows I am. Say to yourself, I am not my feelings, my desires, my passions. Now just sit in awareness of your mental being. Say to yourself, I am. What am I? Am I my mind? Examine the mental dimension of your being in detail. Note its broad expanse and freedom. Note its powers of memory, imagination, analysis, and synthesis. Note the significance of the statement, I have a mind that while the mind is a part of your being, even that part in which these statements are heard and understood, it is not the I that knows I am. Say to yourself, I am not my memories my imagination, or my thoughts. Now just sit in awareness of the mystery of your being. Say to yourself, I am, what am I? And now that you are released from all other answers, open yourself to receive the wordless, ineffable answer.
deep within into profound stillness and silence. There is the I that knows I am. The I that observes mental being but is not fully comprehended by it. The I that observes emotional being but is not fully felt by it. The I that observes physical being but is not fully embodied by it. You are that. Know it. Now, begin ending the meditation by attending to the sensations of your body. Feel the gravity pulling you down into your seat and your feet against the floor. Feel the air on your skin, the breath flowing in and out. Hear what you hear. Smell what you smell and taste what you taste. When you are ready, open your eyes and see what you see. The meditation has ended. Feel free to move and stretch your limbs. Having completed the activity, it is highly recommended that you take a few minutes to reflect on your experience, perhaps even writing down some notes for future reference. Observe your thoughts, emotions, and physical feelings, and how they might differ from before you began the activity. To what extent were you able to relax and follow instructions with full awareness? What was easy about it? What was challenging? What was most meaningful and why? How might repeated use of this activity, with or without the recording, be helpful to you? What additional studies or research might be useful? Thank you for participating in a med meditation on I am, what am I? Once again, my name is Chuck Dunning. If you want to learn more about the Contemplative Builder audio series, my writings, or my presentations and workshops, then please visit chuckdunning.com. Until next time, I wish you deeper knowledge.
of yourself.